Hi, it's Sanna Otilia, and again, my web page is called sannaphillipson.com. Choose the Google Translate bar to read my Danish website in English or Spanish or French, if you like. Um, I'm here to again today to talk about the energy change up to work towards the 2012. Um, 21st of December 2012 is where the 25th cyclus ends according to the Maya calendar um, where just a new one begins but it is really 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 increasing and uh, accelerating this energy change which is coming from above the energies are just um, you can feel it as well as where you live um, more and more rain um, uh, just that that's just one thing what more winds and, and, and more volcano outbursts and and our physical health is is getting worse we might have ear problems throat problems problems with our do you call them sinus sinuses um with our um shoulders with chest pain everything is changing People lose their jobs, people lose their friends and family, their houses, works, everything is changing because what does not, does not function for you so that you have the heart within it will fade away or will disappear. Everything that is not right will again fade away or be drawn apart from you. Um, if you're an un, in an unhealthy, unloving relationship, it will fall apart. If you live in a house that you do not enjoy or if, if the rent is too high or it, it's it's more a, 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 a apartment that you live in because of your ego or materialism, it will bleed, take it will become taken away from you. Everything will change and that is what is going on. Someone up there, you might call them the great lord or the grand creator or you will call them he or she something, um, they have taken the gear shifter and <coughs> put it up to the next level. Um, nothing, nothing you and do, you and I can say or do that will change it because each of one, each one of us has to change the way we're thinking and living and acting. Nothing will ever be as it has been before. Um, the children that arrives to the earth and has last will. 10 to 15 years is forcing us to change the way we live, think, eat, act. We need to become more aware of ourselves, of ourselves, selves. <laughs> um, we need to focus on our own needs, not to be selfish, but, but we need to be self selfish in that way. We need to find out what do I need and what do you need. I'm not going to tell you what you need, although I am going to say, please live healthy, go out to Mother Nature and take care of yourself, exercise slowly so that you have your whole self with you. If you go spinning or scuba diving, no, not scuba diving because it's slowly, but exercise in a way that you have your whole self with you and you're not just put the auto autopilot on. The gear shifter has again been <coughs> increased. Yours and mine, personal development, our spiritual rising has increased a, a whole lot. <laughs> um, sometimes it gets too much. We go like this, it hurts and our ears and our eyes start running and our nose is running as well and everything just hurts like hell. Then turn your nose upwards and say, stop, stop, stop. Please sto slow down, take care of me. Um, because the universe does not stop just bombarding each one of us with energy and light and things that will make us grow. It will just continue coming. It will not stop until the day we die. Because that's a part of the human evolution. It is that you and I, from from we're not put here on earth just to stand still we're put here on earth to develop as humans become more aware of ourselves 
many many people are looking out there what's she doing what does he like what what as a compare yourself to others do not do that seek within yourself all the answers that you need is in is within yourself the courses you think you need to accomplish more knowledge no it is already within you read a book and you will have all the inner wisdom that you were born with we we awakened everything that I send and know I have not studied to know it or to be become wise um, it has come when I looked in there and what is going on with this energy change that is just continuing especially up until the 21st of December 2011 is that we need to become more aware of ourselves we need to live act and 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 think and eat and act from our hearts and not from this unwise thing up here the the, the persons who tell you I'm so smart I know everything that's not the truth because you and I know what's the truth and it is within each one of us's heart um, the inner change in it, the energy change is here to enlighten us to develop us as human beings so that we can all be more that we can all learn to love unconditionally but all the energy from above which is bright and light and just like you know the ice taps hanging from from houses where's my other hand there the ones that fall down that's the same crystal energy that is coming from above um, just like when you're, you're, you're surrounded with crystal children, these children with the big uh, eyes that see everything, these sparkling, wonderful, amazing children, um, they send out crystal energy again that is, that is here to develop us as human beings to open our heart chakra. But again, the more energy there is coming, the more we need to develop ourselves and get in touch with ourselves the more we connect with our inner little bit negative side which is, which is sorrow, anger, jealousy, and anxiety and other low self-esteem issues because when you become more enlightened and, and develop and, and growth as a human being which is a part of the human evo evolution old stuff has to go you cannot develop develop as a human without um, without letting go of all the old shit sorry for cursing but if you want to become more happy you have to let go on the uh, uh, the melancholic is that the right word sorrow this harmful shit within you so the more uh, the more that is coming from above and the more we're developing as, as, as human being, the more light that shines within us, which is what the energy shift is about. It is about one big, large lamp just <coughs> having its spot on us. And it, it's, it's, it's shining at yours and mine, our weak sides. In these days, many people think they're going to die. But it's not you who are listening, and it's not me, Sen, who is 34 years old, who thinks we're going to die. It's our little children within us. It's our little inner child, inner boy, or inner girl. And this inner girl, you and I need to take in our hand and tell them that everything is going to be okay. And before we can be totally, 100% happy, for a while, we need to be unhappy. But tell the inner child in a child and yourself as often as you can that everything is just going to work out everything is going to be swell and fine and perfect but in order to become happy and healthy and uh, in, in perfect harmony with with ourselves we need to let go of all the old crap and shit and this harmful feelings because we do have both uh, things and feelings within us we have both the light and the dark I hope you got a little picture of, of what is going on. Um, I do lots of channelings here at YouTube and I do it also on writing. 
If you want to have my writing in Danish and let Google translate them for you, let me know and I'll send you an, and send it as a mail. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Again, thank you. And my webpage is called sanaphillipson.com. Bye.